Hey everyone, this is a quick look at the LEGO City 2024 4x4 fire truck with rescue boats. It has 301 pieces. I paid $35 US for it and built the thing live over on Twitch. It comes with three minifigures and as you see the side build is a campsite, but we'll look at the truck first. LEGO has done some pretty nice looking brush trucks in the past that I personally have just liked the, the appearance of, but I think this one makes for the best toy out of the ones that they've done up to this point, just because it's got the really big tires and it's got usable actual ground clearance, which is good for going over rough terrain or pillows and sofa cushions and high pile carpet and stuff like that. And it just feels more fun when you've got that, that kind of more bouncy tire. It has a little bit more give to it. As you see, this one also has the little doors that you can open up for just a little extra fun. Doesn't do anything, doesn't give you any better access, but you know, it's one more thing that you can interact with. You can store some extra studs for your, your shooters in here. And they've also got an extra clip on the back to hold on to another minifig accessory over here is the water cannon. So it's just a nozzle there, which is done with the stud or tile shooter, just one tile in there right now and a small winch. So you can actually have something come out that represents a water hose. And this represents a water tank in there, a very large one, another storage compartment over here, a rack on the top, which you could potentially clip things to, or you could take this off and then clip other things up here. You know, if you've got other accessories, the, uh, this is a print right here. Mercifully, this is a print right there. And then also this is a print on top. This one could have been bad, but it's, it's respectable. A little, little bit of smudging on there, but uh, just from like scuffs and, and things in, in the box. But the print quality is fine. And inside you just have space for one person to sit. And as you can see, it's also kind of uh, hollow on the inside there. So potentially with just a little bit of modification, this could be better utilized, the space inside of there. The trailer looks way too long. I don't understand this trailer. I didn't see any reference to compatibility with other boats. There's one other recent fire boat that that's out. That's a, that's a bigger one. I don't personally have, so I can't test to see if it would somehow work with this, but they don't make any mention of that. It just feels like it's more trailer than it needs to be to hold just this little dinghy, but at least it's got the off-road tires there. You got that bright highlighter yellow color as well. And no, uh, uh, no license plates or number plates on this front or back, which some people are sad about. I don't know if I'm sad about it. like, or sad about it. I like number plates on, on toy vehicles and especially Lego ones, but it's just two more stickers per thing, you know? So maybe leaving those off is not such a bad idea after all. You got a little suggestion of twin screw propulsion back there and a couple of clips to hold on to minifig accessories. Potentially you could have two people uh, sitting in here. And this is the second generation version of the small dinghy, which has a lot more space, a lot more usable space. And this does actually float too. The campsite feels kind of generous compared to some of the really, really minimal side builds that they have just to have a, a target for fire in some of the sets. So this is actually built up and can be used on its own. I think it, it, it's not limited at all to use for fire alone. You could use this as part of a nature scene or a park scene. A couple of small trees here, which are pretty minimal, but it's something. It's a lot better than just a single little twig on, on the ground. There's a suggestion of water here, and this is like a very, very small pier. So you can imagine fishing here. Unfortunately, there is no fishing rod included with this. That would have been nice to include. Little, uh, little personal portable heater unit there and a fried egg to be heated up. And the idea is that the fire from this just got out of hand. So you've got these little fire components off to the side, which are just the modified inverted tile piece with a few little bits of fire in there. And the idea is that, you know, you set these on top and then you try to shoot them with the, the little shooter. Unfortunately, I think, I think the play pattern of that is not the greatest because these do require a, f a handful of shots. Unless you get right on top of it, you're probably going to need to reload. And the process of reloading this single thing I've found over time, finally, it, isn't as fun as I personally would like it to be. Uh, just remembering back to how I played as a kid, I would have, would have preferred to have multiple shots available from this thing. But yeah, that's just a that's just a small nitpick. It do, it all does work. The the, the cover of the, the tent here is very shiny, but the way it's built, it's really easy to just get in there. Now, these things do get knocked over easily, but they need to be able to be knocked over easily because you need to be able to to suggest that you're putting the fire out. 
I would have liked to see just a couple studs here as well to hold on to a figure's feet when they're laying down on the back. Here are the figures with the fire starter camper on the right with an appropriate facial expression for what has just occurred. See, here's one more uh, minifig accessory, which you can clamp onto the truck. Thankfully, they give you plenty of spots for those things. I think that each of these is, is nice and it's nice to get the different versions of helmet for the firefighters. And when you take these off, very happy. To, well, I, I like that little bit of sweat or, or water there for the person who's going to be operating the watercraft, but also alternate headgear pieces are included, which I'm always asking for. And I'm always happy to see when it does happen. So excellent there. And this guy does have an alternate face for when things are going just fine or after the fire has been put out. These are the leftover or extra pieces and no sticker sheet was used for this set. Unfortunately, the side compartments on the truck are not large enough to hold on to these accessories here. I think you can fit the personal flotation device in one, but that's it. But this space here is usable for that. And there's a tile on the bottom of most of that. So most of it is not studded. It gives you a little bit more room, makes it a little bit easier for things to slide out. So we can just pop these in there. I hate having extra stuff just laying around from a set. Always having spots to put everything is extra useful. So yes, that does work here. That is a success. And once again, this is a $35 US set. It is 30, uh, excuse me, 30 euros, 25 pounds UK or 35, I think it was 35, no, 45, 45 dollars Canadian, which is approximately $33 US for 300 pieces, including a large, uh, you know, small, a small floating boat hull, a large piece but a, a small floating boat bull hull and all prints and sizable enough side build, you know, a lot more than, than the minimum. That's for sure. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with the value. I think that this makes for a pretty nice toy set. I really do think that there's way more trailer here than there needed to be, but better to have too much than too little. But I just think maybe a little bit of the budget of this could have been shifted over to a little bit more detail over here or a little bit more detail over here, or maybe one more figure. I doubt, I doubt a whole other figure, but that's, I mean, that's as far as I can go with real critique on it. Just generally it's done pretty well. And the price is, is decent. It's a five plus set also with a simple build that seems appropriate. So overall I'm happy with this. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon.